Hey y'all, so before I get this video started, let me give a quick shout out. These were the first three comments in my last video. If you want to be featured in my next video, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell and come show me some love when I drop a new video. What's up you guys? It's Key and Ravon, aka Coach Key, coming back to you with another video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you're not new, welcome back. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and also tap the bell so that you are notified of every new video that I post. In today's video, we are going to be doing my third paycheck to paycheck budget for the month of December. This is a magic month for me. I get paid every other Wednesday and there were three Wednesdays this month. So the way that I like to do my budgets, if you are new to my channel, I always like to start my budget with a paycheck in that particular calendar month. So because I got paid on December 30th, that is going to count for December. And that just means that my January budget is not going to start until January 13th. So before I can actually get into doing the third paycheck to paycheck budget, we're first going to go ahead and reconcile the second paycheck to paycheck budget. So let's get into it. First things first, I did go ahead and put this money off to the side for my rent. I paid my car insurance and the stock club, all of that had came out. So my total was the 232.49. As far as the variable expenses go, what I actually spent was 469.48. That's actually pretty high for me for a two week time frame, but I did buy like a lot of like personal household type of items. A, a lot of it honestly was hair products. Um, what else? I also ended up buying a $40 hair straightening comb. So that was part of it. And then also buying my sister, her birthday and Christmas gifts came out of this as well. That took up the majority of my costs and I did have to also buy me a new Xbox controller. So if we come back to this page, what I actually budgeted for this two week time span was 503.33. I only spent 469.48. So that means that I still had 33.85 left over. And then I did end up sending this off to savings. So if we come up a little bit so down here i'm going to go ahead and reconcile my account this is how i reconcile my checking account at the end of every budget as well as at the end of every month and this just kind of makes sure that i have checks and balances and i'm not missing money somewhere 1109 okay so fixed was the 232.49 then we got 469.48, 667.27. So what that gives me, 09 minus 232.49 minus 469.48 minus 667.27 gives me 464185 but then i have to add back in the 27109 that was left over after i put money off of my taxes from my youtube paycheck so we have 491294 okay so that was correct so before we go ahead and get straight onto that page i'm going to go ahead and write in my income on this page and i'm going to have to come back here anyway so my paycheck and i'm actually gonna have to reach out to payroll because i do believe that i still wasn't paid correctly but my check was 14.91.47 and that was for 58.75 hours and the reason why i think that income is correct or incorrect is because i was paid for retroactive pay for my holiday pay i did work thanksgiving like from 12 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. on Thanksgiving day. But the problem is it should be more than that. I think that pay should have been like 292 instead of like $97 because it would be six and a half times $45 an hour. So I have to reach out to them about that. 
And then also I did get some, why did I put B-Day? It's not my B-Day. Christmas money. And that was $2.95. So if we add that up, $14.91.47 plus $2.95. One thousand seven hundred eighty six forty seven. All right, and I am going to. Oh, just an update real quick. I, I am going to put out a video sometime soon setting up my planner for 2021. If you have ordered a planner because there are quite a few of you, I will be reaching out to you all separately today but there's another little hold on it. Sorry, I'm having to put this in this video, but just a little quick announcement. I had to put a hold on it because I have to send these back. This is not the same quality. Um, and I am someone who stands by what I sell because I wouldn't sell something to somebody I wouldn't use myself. You guys can see the difference in like the color of the boxes is not as dark. These little lines right here are like stipple, like very pixelated instead of a a solid line and the, the letters on here are very very pixelated and I, I just I can't sell that so if you want you can request a refund and then you could just order later or you could just wait I did just receive everything to send it back to them so it'll probably be like another week and a half two weeks depending on how actually it's gonna be about two weeks because I think they don't open again until January 4th so we have to wait for them to reopen so that they can reprint them. So anyway, sorry about that. Just had to let y'all know because I know whoever ordered, I know y'all be watching my videos. So I wanted to let y'all know about that. So the income we have over here. $17.86.47. And the week that we are going off of is right here. This is what I created when I did my monthly paycheck to paycheck budget overview so i estimated that i would make at least 1350 which i did as you guys can see so what bills i have coming out this week are my dental insurance health insurance my sideline which is basically a number that's attached to my regular number and then i will put off this 150 to the side for rent even though it's my third time this month i would rather still put it ahead because after a, a year of doing that i should end up with one full month of rent put off to the side and i'm already a month ahead so that actually helps put me two months ahead and then for variable expenses we just have the budgeted expenses so let's go ahead and get this together First is fixed expenses. And then I am gonna do something a little bit different with the savings this particular budget. And you guys are gonna see that. And I'll explain why when we get to the savings page. If you're new here, I do my budgets a little bit different. Actually a lot of bit different, but it still works and it comes out how I want it to. So first we have dental insurance. Oh, also my insurance did go up for my health insurance. I'm still gonna write in here what I budgeted. I already knew it was gonna go up a little bit because I kind of projected that based off of my income this year. But I could also be wrong. So I'm gonna wait till I do my taxes and if I overestimated what my income was last year, cause my income for this year should be somewhat close to last, no. Yeah, my income for next year should be somewhat close to my income for this year. So because of that, I will go back in and change it if I have to. So I did budget 200, but it's gonna be more than that. And what my insurance was this year was 165.22. So we'll see. Cause I will be quick to go back in there like, hey, no, I overestimated my income. So let's drop that down so that the insurance can drop down with it. So on the sixth, is sideline that's gonna be $99.99 and then I will put my rent in here and I'm gonna put that off to the side today and today is New Year's Eve you guys please be safe tonight I actually was thinking about going live tonight and doing like a Q&A get ready for the new year type of thing i wanted to do it with the new planner like setting up the new planner doing a q a stuff like that but of course i can't do that because the planners ain't right so that's that 
Okay, so my total for fixed expenses, $99.99, and then we have $150. It's gonna be $459.53. And what I have left over is going to be $13.26.94. Next, let's do the variable expenses. I know you ain't tired, ma'am. You just got the work. Just got to work. <laughs> All right, so we just have the budget. It's no due date because it's gonna go the whole two weeks and we have 503.33. And then I am still gonna do, what you laughing at, unbudgeted. My income might be a little all over the place for the next, why did I put, um, month or so because I just, I don't even know about this job right now. They tripping with the scheduling. They have needs. They're saying they don't have them, like they're saying they don't have needs on the day that I'm requesting, but I know that they do. And it's just, it's a mess right now, but I only have four more weeks to deal with it before I go on a month long break. So I'm just like, you know what, whatever. But we'll see what's gonna go on with that. Okay, so now let's get into the savings portion. And like I said, I'm gonna do things a little bit different than what I typically do. So this month, my net income split is 50-50. If you're new to my channel, I basically don't start putting money off into savings and as extra debt payments. When I was in debt, I've been debt free for two and a half years now, but I don't put money into savings until I've earned enough to cover my fixed expenses. And then from there, my net income is split based on what I project my income and my expenses to be for that particular month. So this month, I projected that basically I would need 50% of my net income after you know, it, after my fixed expenses to stay in my checking for variable expenses and then the other half I could put towards savings. However, I'm not going to split this 1786.47 in half because I want to put this straight into savings. I right now, before I just got paid, I still had nine hundred twelve dollars and ninety four cents left over from the last two paychecks. So adding this in, plus the fact that I don't really spend a whole lot of money, I don't have a lot of bills, there's really no need for me to keep this and split that off. I can literally just take this 295, put that off into savings. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna split this 1491.47 in half. So 745.73 is gonna stay in my checking account. So that means that 745.74, is gonna go into my savings, but I'm gonna put that really small here because I'm also gonna add the 295. However, they're gonna go to different places. Excuse me. That's gonna give me 1,040.74. All right, so now let's break down where this money is gonna go. So if you are new here, typically I don't save money the way that I'm doing right now. But because I know that I'm taking off all of February and I'm not gonna have any income for that four weeks that I'm gonna be taking off, what I've been doing this month is basically all of my savings allocation is put into my true emergency fund so that when those paychecks come in to where they're gonna be blank and nothing is there, I can basically pay myself an income from the money that I saved for December and January. However, the reason why <clears throat> I'm gonna put that 295 in a different place is because at this point, I have 188.45 that I saved from paycheck one, 667.27 from paycheck two. This paycheck is what, 745.74, $1,600. 
I usually can live off of less than $2,000 and I know that I'll be saving some money for next month as well. So because of that, I'm just only gonna save this $745.74 and that $295 I'm gonna put into my, uh, min not my mini emergency fund, my miscellaneous slash investment sinking fund. And I'm doing that because that I've taken so much money out of there this year. Um, it's starting to come back now, but I just rather put that money there. So I'm going to put that in M slash I S F and that whole 295 for Christmas. So <laughs> thank y'all for the Christmas money because it's going to be put there. And then we're going to reconcile down. So at the end of every budget, I reconcile my checking account back down to $4,000. I started doing that after I became debt free because at this point, my checking account starts at more than two times what I need for my monthly bills. So I just like to reconcile down and that's not right. So whatever is left in my checking account in excess of $4,000 at the end of the month, gets put in my savings so total so far what was it 1000 so that's actually gonna make this week negative but again I have $900 over $900 left from the first two paychecks so being negative 200 this week doesn't really mean anything or this paycheck doesn't mean anything at all. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my boxes for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are my lines and how I do, I set up my reconciliation for my checking account. So right now I'm gonna to try to project to see about how much I should have left over at the end of the month to reconcile down to add more to my savings. So honestly, I'll probably end up saving everything I need to save for February this month in this budget. And then next month I'll be able to go back to doing the regular way that I save money basically. Minus fixed variable. Saving and reconcile down. Okay, so my beginning balance is my ending balance from last paycheck, which is $49,1294. The income is $1786.47, which means I'm starting out with. Yeah, I'm almost certain that once I save the $2,000, I'm gonna leave it at that. And anything in excess of $2,000 that I save this month will just go towards my regular savings because I don't I don't need more than that to live off of for February. So we got 459.53 for fixed variable. We have 503.33, especially since. I'll have like that small couple hundred dollar YouTube check coming in as well. Yeah, I won't, I won't need anything else. Okay, so if I was to do this calculation, so I subtract my fixed, subtract the variable, subtract what I already put into savings, I'm still left with 46.9581. So basically this is saying that if I was to spend every single dollar, but not a penny more, not a penny less, I'll still have $695.81 left over to put into savings. So what did I say that I had before? 16. So I'll probably just take 400 of that, put it in the true emergency fund. That way I have a $2,000 income for February. And then the other two something, almost $300, I'll put off into savings, but I should end up with more money than that at the end of the month to save. So my goal is to save as much as I possibly can. And this is a benefit of not just being debt free, 
but also just the fact that I take advantage of the fact that I don't have to go and live on my own if I don't want to. And so I take advantage of that. All right, so that's gonna give me this $4,000. But I'm also a very frugal person, so that's that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave them down below. Please thumbs up this video, subscribe if you haven't already. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the new year. <laughs> Y'all be safe. Bye-bye. <laughs>